Hi, this is the fourth uh, problem being solved on the spectroscopy as imaging um, web book. And some of these problems entail calculating on saturation formula. For some of you, this will be a review. This particular one deals with dealing with halogen. So there's a formula in there that says C9H7Cl. Okay, um, th these, as you know, you have to compare to a saturated formula. The saturated formula in this case would be C9H18, right, plus 2 would be H20. However, as we learned in class, and if you read this, you will discover that for every chlorine in the structure, you have to take one hydrogen out. So I'm going to H19. The difference between these two, that's what we're interested in, is how many hydrogens is our structure missing? The difference between these two is 12 divided by 2 is 6, which equals, I'm sorry, divided by 2 equals 6, okay? So you would have to draw a structure with an unsaturation of 6. Again, I'm a big fan of putting a benzene ring in. You know a benzene adds up to 4, so I'm going to put a benzene ring into this one. I'm pushing that because you'll see when we do spectroscopy, frequently when you have an unsaturation over 4, it, the molecule does have a benzene ring in it. So I'll put a chlorine on here somewhere. Um, I have three more carbons to use up, and I have an unsaturation of two to use up with them. So for example, I could put a triple bond hanging off somewhere and maybe another methyl group. Okay, I could make a chain. If you don't feel like doing that, you can make a chain where you're just putting, building up on saturation. So I can make a triple bond, double bond, double bond. How many is that? That's four. Double bond, that's five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need another, maybe I'll put another triple bond on there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I've got the six. I've got to add the chlorine in, and I need one more methyl. Oh, more than that. Wait. Sorry, I keep counting. No, one more. So that, that's how you solve that. I think you're getting the hang of it. But keep practicing those. It's a good thing to practice. There'll be more problems where I work, use spectra. All right, so that's the end of the fourth spectroscopy and imaging problem.